Hello, Wilkinson Junior High School. I'm Mr. Dowd and I have a dilemma that I need your help with. I need to see if my kayak is going to fit in the shed. Now normally it sits outside and it gets leaves all over it and it's in the rain and it, it's just getting tore up and messed up because it's not being protected. So I need to get it in my shed. Now the problem with that is I have a bunch of stuff in my shed. As you can see. Stuff. I don't want to move all the stuff out of the shed to put the kayak in there and find out it doesn't fit just to move everything else back in. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna, I need your help to figure out if it will fit in there. We're gonna measure it to see how long the kayak is and then we'll measure the shed to see if it will fit in the shed by measuring it that way and seeing what the distances are and how deep the shed is. So we're gonna measure the kayak. Miss Joyce is gonna help me out here just for a moment. All right, my kayak is 12 feet long. Now we're gonna measure down the side of the shed to see if the shed is deep enough to hold my kayak that way. Wouldn't you know it, my shed is 11 feet deep. Well, it's not gonna fit that way, long way, so let's see if it will fit across in my shed, if I can put it in there sideways. Nope, that's 10 feet even. Well, I guess we're gonna have to figure out a different way to do this. I wonder if it would fit crossways diagonal, which would give us basically a right triangle. Now we can figure this out by using the Pythagorean theorem, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. C squared is the hypotenuse that's gonna tell us the longest point of that right triangle to see if it's 12 feet, which is what we would need it to be to fit in there crossways. Now, I also have a, a second story, kind of like a good shelf in my shed, and we're gonna, that's where we want it to go, is to fit on that top part. Again, it's got too much stuff in there for me to measure from corner to corner, so we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem to figure that out. So let's go do that right now. Okay, we have the dimensions of our shed and of our kayak. And we need to see now if the kayak is gonna fit diagonal in the shed. The dimensions of the shed are 11 feet deep and 10 feet wide. Our kayak is 12 feet, so we know it's not gonna fit in the shed straight or sideways. So we have to figure out if it's gonna fit diagonally, okay? Now, to do this, we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem, which is, which is a squared plus b squared equals c squared. You can only use this method whenever you're dealing with a right triangle. Okay, and a right triangle always has 90 degrees. Okay, we're going to calculate what's called the hypotenuse of the triangle, which is always the longest side of that triangle. To do that, I'm gonna take the distance of side A and add it to the distance of side B. I'm gonna square A and I'm gonna square B before I calculate those. And then we'll find the square root of C in order to find out if we have enough room in the shed to put our kayak. Now, we know that the depth of the shed is this way is 11 feet, and the width of the shed this way is, 12, is 10 feet. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say 11 squared plus 10 squared equals, let's do this, square these first, this is 121 plus 100 equals 221. Now, is that, a, is that a reasonable answer to think that this distance from here to here is 221 feet? especially if this is 11 feet here and this is only 10 feet here. No, that's not a reasonable answer. So what we're gonna do now is we need to find the square root of 221. So on your calculator, you'll hit 221 and then, and then hit the square root button, which looks kinda like an, a division symbol, okay? But it's, it, it's a little check mark, so it looks different. You're gonna hit that and find out what this is. Now when we do this, our answer comes out to 14.8. In order for the kayak to fit in the shed diagonal, we need 12 feet. Well, according to our calculations, we have 14.8 feet. So yes, our, shed, our kayak is going to fit in the shed in a diagonal fashion. Now, you have, some practice, you have some to practice at your desk. If you need help with this, just raise your hand and your teacher is gonna come around and help you. But try to do as many of these as you can without your teacher's help. Remember, we're gonna take the distance of A and we're gonna multiply it, we're gonna square it or multiply it by itself. 
then the distance of B and multiply it by itself. And then when we add those two numbers together, we're going to get the distance of C, but we have to square root it for it to be a reasonable answer for this distance from here to here.